But I want to talk okay. some all-time receivers here. And okay. we just had an all-time receiver score a touchdown yesterday. Familiar with Pittsburgh, has that connection with Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. So I want to ask, I, I don't know if I want to do rankings. Like, where would you rank A.B. All in right. the all-time list? Maybe I'll just rattle off some names. A.B. versus this guy. Okay. Who would you take? Cool. You ready? Let's do it. You want to do it? I like this. This is fun. <laughs> Shout out to Megatron, too. Now you're talking about receivers, man. Megatron just got in there on that first ballot, dude, too. dude, you have to think, with the Super Bowl championship, we kind of talked about this oh, yeah. with Legacy, Super Bowl championship, and he had a touchdown. He definitely oh, yeah. had no, impact. He, he bought out. Him so and where Mark, does, yeah, they where the does that put him on, on this list with okay. some of these all-time guys? Let's hear it. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. All right. A, B. Ah, see, I, I'll, I'll just, just do, do it. Just I'll do just it. do I'm the, with the it. top three right off the bat. I'm with it. Come on. A, B, or Jerry Rice? Jerry Rice. A, B, or Fitzgerald? A, B. Whoa, over Larry Fitz? I mean, Larry, put it like this. If we're talking about, you know, all character team, give me Larry. If we're talking about... I want this guy. I need the intangible guy. Like, I need a glue guy, Juju type. Give me that. Now, obviously, Larry is a higher-end version, but you think about the intangible. Like, Larry will block you. Larry, he's not going to celebrate. Larry's just a come-to-work, lunch pill, hard hat, catch-everything type of guy. Played with Larry. Obviously, it was later in his career. Played against Larry early on in his career, right? Well, not the early, early part, but, you know, in his prime part. Larry, he ain't never like A.B. to me. Okay. Like, it's certain things I've seen with A.B. I'm just like, bro, he's this got, is He's different. just got the longevity on him. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. But it's, just, just it's different, man. Prime, I want this guy. Yes. If height of their careers, give me prime A.B. has got man. that ring. Fitz don't have that ring. <laughs> Fitz balled out in the Super Bowl. He did. He, not, no debate. He did. <laughs> Him and him and Anquan Bolden. I mean, oh, those man. those what? playoff runs with them too. Yes, crazy. Dude. Bolden obviously had that other run with the Ravens. Uh huh. Jeez. Actually, we'll bring up his name too later. All right, Tro Owens. This kills me. To I'm a To guy. Yeah. I mean, anybody that doesn't know, like when I was in college and I would train. Remember when To was with the Cowboys? He would only wear his tights only, no shorts. So I'd be out there just like that when I was doing my winter workouts at GMU. Tights only. I'm like, hey, man, T.O. said it's for the aerodynamic. Make them run fast. Coach is like, yo, man, you think them two-ounce shorts is going to slow you down? <laughs> Something might be wrong. Don't matter, Coach. We ain't thinking that deep. T.O. said we're tights only. That's what I'm wearing. So, T.O. Randy go. Moss or A.B.? Moss. A.B. or Isaac Bruce? A.B. A.B. Tim Brown? A.B. Steve. Even though even though they... I. I, I feel like it's some similar, uh, similarities though between their two games, man. Okay. Steve yeah. Smith? A.B. Even though I like his, his, his just nastiness and his toughness. Marvin He's definitely Harrison. the toughest guy I played against. Uh, in terms of like just that edge of body. Oh, yeah. Like, you yeah, you yeah, told yeah. me some he, he a dog. He a dog. <laughs> Wait, no, no debate. He's a dog. You said Marvin Harrison? Oh. Oh, man. That's tough. There's some good ones on here. This is tough, too, because... Marvin, he he definitely has the years. Obviously, he's the Hall of Famer. He was doing his thing. Kind of reminds me of AB, too. Jeez. Um, I'm biased. Give me... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to go Harrison. I'm okay. going Harrison. He got a little jankiness off the field about him, too. I, I can respect <laughs> it. I can respect it. <laughs> Reggie Wayne. I'm going AB. Yeah. Andre Johnson. I'm going AB. I like a little bit more speed on my on my receiver. Even though Andre Johnson, he was that dude. He, he was Chris that Carter. Dude. AB. Anquan Bolden. Definitely AB. Torrey Holt. AB. Andre Reed. Reed. Julio Jones. Oh God, I hate this question right here. I got probably like three or four oh, more that are, man. that are tough because AB is right. like in the thirty range. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going A B. Whoa. But I will explain why. Okay. Wait, so do you have what about Julio versus Andre Reed? I I like Julio. Okay. But this is the thing. It's a weird scenario. Yeah, like you, you got a weird connection yeah, here with Because these three. it's like Julio, I feel like, is the best receiver out of those guys, right? And if you stack him up, he is up there with all these guys, talent wise, productivity wise. My problem is he has the same issue that T.O. has. Now, not as bad, but how many wide open drops do we see from Julio? Julio will drop that rock. We've seen it too many times now. Now, it's not egregious. It's not leading the league in a season like T.O. T.O. had with 15 drops. It's not to that extent, but it's hard for me to say that you're, you know, 
better than AB when I've I don't I've, I might have seen AB drop two passes in my whole time of knowing this guy. Like, and this is a practice included. Like, he just doesn't drop the ball. Yeah. It don't matter if you if the ball hits his helmet, it don't matter if he's getting held, it doesn't matter if he can't see it. Like, if his hand touches it, he's catching it. And we've seen Julio in stride dropping touchdowns, dropping money. That, that's my thing. But I, I just feel like Julio is still. I just feel like he's just way too good for like a Andre Reed. And it's not a shot at Andre because Andre's a Hall of Famer in his own right. I just feel like. But you took Reed over AB. I did, that's it, that's which why is the weird because it's like <laughs> with Reed, it's like, dude, I feel like Reed, like he has numbers, he's polished, no ring, obviously that hurts, but. It's just, oh man. You might have to put AB over Reed. I, I feel like I, I, I feel like I should, but I've already made my statement, so I can't retract okay. it. So I'm just, it is what it is, okay. man. Brandon Marshall. Nah. Uh, AB. 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 For for a couple of reasons, but the main one being because he said something slick. Remember a while ago about Peasy, and then obviously Peasy had to go talk to him, you know, in, in, in a little <laughs> personal manner, and that whole energy changed. So <laughs> since then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B Marsh. Nah, bruh. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right. Um, do we want to say Heinz Ward? I know what you said for the Steelers all time team. Well, now he had a Super Bowl right now, so it changes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this isn't all time. This isn't Steelers. This, this now this is just Steelers. wide receivers in general. <laughs> different conversation. If we're talking about for the organization, difference. We talking about all time. That's the difference between Debo versus Peasy. If we're talking greatest rusher. In Steeler history, you go Harrison. You look at the numbers. Peasy got the numbers. He had, he had some good years. Absolutely, with Dolphins. Dolphins and Cardinals. Peasy numbers is there. So that's why I was like, this is a different talk when we're saying specifically for a team versus just now as in general. <laughs> in general, it's not a debate to me. This is AB. AB. All right. Like AB to me, like if, if it wasn't for the off field stuff, you could make a case that he is arguably you know, top five all time. That's including your Randy Mosses, your Jerry Rice. Is like, I think of well, him based in off, that Based vein. off what you're saying right here, there's not too like, many people you have over. Seriously, he's in that ballpark to me. I feel like the off-field stuff, and this is lets you know how bad the off-field stuff was. Three years ago, right, going into that 18 season, we were talking about him in that vein. We were talking about him as the first battle Hall of Fame type. We were talking about him as going down as the greatest receiver in NFL yep. history. And just think about the damage that he did throughout that time since 18 to where it got to the point where we were talking about him not making the haul, not because of a lack of productivity, because we said his numbers are identical to Calvin Johnson's. Same amount of years, and AB's numbers are better than Calvin's in multiple categories in the same amount of time. Now, that wasn't even including what he did this season when he came back. And we saw Calvin as a first ballot guy, but with AB, because of how much off-field stuff happened, People forgot. They were just like, yo, we can't talk about AB in a positive light because of all the negative. But I'm just simply saying, if you just look solely from a football standpoint, because we already said in the Hall of Fame, it's not the Hall of Character. Well, you got some you got some people in there. I mean, you want to go out on the list? We can go down the list. You want DUIs? You want murder? You want gun charge? You want rape? Which one you want? You pick your poison now. The, the, the Hall is a little janky. All right, we got you on that. But when you look past the hall of, of jankiness and get to the actual fame, the, the productivity part of it, AB numbers three years ago were already on par with first ballot Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think he is that good. Yes, I think even though he has some very, very yes. detrimental, con, uh, very detrimental um, character flaws on his thing, right? Some stuff self inflicted, some stuff it was bad timing. But Regardless of that, I can't unsee what I've seen from yep. a practice standpoint, day in and day out, four years of watching this day in and day out, and then going into the game and somehow, some way, still find a way to be wild. Like, I've seen this three times already. How did you do it even better on this time with better competition out there? I can't unsee that. So, I yeah, I think he is better than, you know, 95% of the guys on that list, man. I agree, dude. Now, to your point. In fact, point, now that I said I am changing my decision, man. Over give, me, give me A, B over Reed. Okay. Yes, I changed my decision. Dude, to your point. So he's at 11,746 mm -hmm. yards. So that's 31. Dude, just think these past two years how much that killed him. So just mm -hmm. add maybe 2,000 more yards to that. He'd be at thir yes. 13,746. Mm -hmm. He would be rated like Chris Carter, Anquan Bolden range Seriously, right now. Dude. Think about that. Right man. now. 
with Think probably what two or three years left less, in its prime. Absolutely, it, but but in in less years than they ended from their whole career oh, yeah, standpoint, yeah. man. So hundred percent. That's my thing. I'm like, his numbers like that, and that's off of a two year hiatus. Like, come on, mm-hmm. man. Like this dude is a monster when he's on the field. We saw it last night. You ready for two more? Oh, get to me, Michael Irvin. And I'm a Cowboys guy. Well, used to be at least. I was Irvin guy though. Love Irvin because he's a part of like that glory of like me becoming a Cowboys fan during that time. Frame. Playoff moments, right? Everything, man. Playoff performance, jankiness. You know, I like a little jankiness on my celebrities. <laughs> if you my superstar, give me a little. I, I need a little, little, little. And his numbers Jones aren't as gaudy because he only played 11 years. Yeah, from what I'm looking at here. Yep. I'm gonna go A B over him, but barely. You got Irvin in the top ten though. Yeah, Ir- what? Irvin's okay. definitely top 10. Yeah, yeah. Last one. Irvin's top 10. Ir- Irvin's borderline top five to me. It's just the the thing that we're having to deal with now, and we've seen this, especially because of how the game has evolved, the numbers now are evolving to being way more gaudier, and that's because of how the game has evolved to being more passing league, which makes it, when you look back and you see Dan Marino throwing for, you know, close to 5,000 yards. I think, no, he actually threw over uh, 5,000 yards, had 50 touchdowns before it during the, like, 80s time frame, like, that's nuts. Yeah, his second year. I think it was 48. Yeah, it, it was, was 48, yeah. yeah. But that's, that's that was nuts. That was the record like, until Peyton broke it, yeah. Like, that should have never happened. You know what I mean? When you think about that, and then think about how long it took for us to see that happen again, and then recently with Mahomes, like, that's unheard of. With Irvin, back then, you know, his numbers, you know, five, ten years ago, it's like, yo, this dude was, this dude was crazy. And it made a lot more sense to have him in a top five scenario, whereas right now... Yeah, the game has changed, and obviously AB has benefited from the newer age, right? That's my thing. I'm just like, ah, oh, well, even though I know what Irvin was, the way the game is played now, it's hard for me to ignore what I'm seeing with those numbers as well. So that's why I'm going to go AB okay. over him. But Irvin's definitely in that top 10, borderline top five to me. Last one. Ready? Here we go. Calvin Johnson. I got AB. Oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. I got Calvin over AB. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've always been Calvin over AB. Like, both guys, great combat catch guys so that's like when i think about receivers i want guys that can catch the ball in any situation wide open four defenders on you pass interference face man it doesn't matter like if the ball hits your hands you catch it calvin does that ab does that which is why i'm very high on those guys i also love fast receivers we already know what calvin could do we've seen him run the four three and somebody else's cleats right size too small the story is there the legend is there we know what ab can do we've seen how he gets after it both have great work ethics. Both of these guys grind. They put in that time and it shows, right? Then both of these guys on top of that have shown that, man, it doesn't matter if they're winning or losing, they're going to be able to still produce. They're still going to show up and do what they do. Now, I know people will bring up, well, AB quit on this team in that last game in 18. Listen, there's a lot of factors that went into that, but very similar to how you point to that one game, we could point the one game where Scottie Pippen quit on his team as well. And that was how in the Lance dance, right? We simply said in the middle of the game, I'm not going in for this last possession. All right. We don't bring that up every time with Pippen, though. So I'm not going to keep bringing it up every time with AB either. All right. But as a whole, the, the biggest difference is this. I love speed. I love combat catches. I love playmakers. But it's nothing like looking like a creative player while doing it. And when you look at Megatron, Megatron reminded me of when me and my little brother first got our PlayStation and we got Madden. And we're like, oh, man, because at the time, obviously, I wasn't on the game, right? I said, okay, man, we got to create ourselves. Humble brag. You, you like it right there, right? <laughs> oh, it's only certain things I like to brag on. Madden is one of them. I love the fact that I'm on Madden. It's cool. They need to drop a modes card on all three. They, they need to, man. I, I, used to have a, I used to have a card, man. They did. I was yeah, looking I back on it. One. I was looking back. Mm-hmm. They had some good ones for you. Like yeah. They dropped uh, 89, 89 mm-hmm. overall for yeah, you. I had, a couple, I had a couple cards, man. Yeah. But now I guess, you know, they say he in this media thing. We're going to leave him alone now. So it is what it is. <laughs> but, um. To me, man, and that's what it reminds me of. It was like, man, my little brother, he would always be the quarterback. And for me, I'm going to be this six, seven, six, eight, just flying receiver, big, muscular dude, look like, you know, supposed to like creative player. And when we watch Calvin, that's what he looks like. So for me, that's why I'm like, yeah. And he was doing it with Stafford. Yeah. And before Stafford, he had what? No, no, he, I want to say he had Kitna. Stafford the whole time, Kittner. Did he get one with Orlowski? <laughs> I want to say he Probably. might he had one with Orlowski as well, man. So when I think of that compared to the receiver, I mean to the quarterback play that AB has had throughout his career now, because it's not just in Pittsburgh. I think that quarterback play made Calvin retire early too. Oh, <laughs> you see it, but for for me, I'm like AB benefited from having two Hall of Famers in his in his life. He had Ben, and then from Ben he goes to Brady. 
my man Calvin, we just named off what he played with. Yeah. The best guy is Stafford, and people will debate if he's even a Hall of Famer or not. So, yeah, that, that's why for me, I'm like, Calvin gets the nod. That's interesting. Dude. Yeah, man. Well, that was the last one. You want me to run out, run through mine real quick? Heck yeah, man. Let me hear it. Jerry Rice. Yeah, you got to go Jerry Rice. Yeah. It's, 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 it's Jerry. Fitzgerald. You might have convinced me, dude. I would have said Fitzgerald right Seriously? off the bat. You might have convinced me. He does. Because like, his, his numbers are good, but you look at the longevity element of it, and I'm just like, I don't like numbers based solely on, oh, this guy played for 15 years, so his numbers are better. Like... No, yeah, let me see who, it, who's yeah, if you more were to productive. take off his last like four or five right. years. Like, let me see, like, if this is a per game average, like, what are your numbers talking about compared to his numbers? Who has more impact week in and week out? Who do I have to game plan around? Who gives me nightmares? AB gives you nightmares. I'm gonna go with you then. I'll go AB. I, I'll do TO for TO versus AB. Dude. I'm God, gonna stick with TO. I'm gonna stick with Moss too. Come on, that dude. You, and now you see why I say Moss all the time, right? I think Moss to me is my number one receiver. Like I love Jerry Rice, and I feel like Jerry was was amazing. But to me, big speed, run routes, catch everything. Like as great as Jerry Rice was, Jerry Rice is certain things that he can't do that Moss could do. I never said you got riced. <laughs> because I never right. seen Rice wasn't consistently going up on top of your head, going to get that up off for you. That was Moss. Moss hit you with this. Good luck. You know what that is. And I didn't see him do it to you named it. Which corner you want to start with first? You good on the who's who's of the hit parade and he didn't dog them all out, man. So yeah. That's why. That's interesting. That's that's yeah. a controversial take, I think. Right yeah. now. It is. But what I think it there's is, people man. that are just I respect that though. It, I mean I'm saying, man, like that dude, he's different, man. hundred percent. From start to You're finish, right. you no saw one, it. No one says you always just say yeah. he got lost. And he ain't put with Montana. Now, granted, he got the one year with Brady, but the majority of his career? It, it, uh, well, actually, it no. might have only been two because Castle was in the one. Right. And then Brady might have been for the other. I that think was he was the, only three yeah, years it, with Patriots. That was it. The, the, year, the, the 50 touchdown year for Brady. Or, no, no, he didn't have the 50 touchdown DM. Um, yeah, because Moss did, had yeah. 20-something. Right. That, that, was, that was the year. But other than that, I'm like, you look at the quarterbacks that man was playing with. He had, Pepper wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. He had a cannon. <laughs> so you, you heard how we just talked about okay who versus is, Montana. No, 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 obviously, no, 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 no. Montana. Who who else is after Montana? But in terms of who yeah, else Steve is after Young. Mon- oh, okay. Oh, and then we talked about the quarterbacks that, that Rich that, Gannon in Oakland. He was pretty good. He had a good run. You hear how you try to talk about Rich Gannon? <laughs> who, who did you say before Rich Gannon? Who, who, who was the other guy you just said? Steve Young. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just say was it Kitna? Did you say Kitna? No, no. You talking about you talking about Calvin Johnson? No, 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 no. I, I said who who did you say with uh with Moss though? Yeah, Cole, uh, Cole Pepper. That's who it was. Cole Pepper. Did he got a Cunningham year too? Didn't he? Ah, uh, he got maybe. Cunningham his first year. I think year. he did. His first, that was his rookie year. He got Cunningham. Yeah. But in terms of numbers, they let it loose up there with the Vikings. Oh, yeah, they was just airing. That's it what out. I mean. In terms yeah, of yeah. stats, they, they were slinging that thing, man. But it was because of Moss. Moss changed how they ran that offense. Cunningham came in there and they had the flea flickers going. It was everything just throw it up, 50 yards downfield, go get it. I think what actually kills him, actually, it's not the Vikings years. It's the two Raiders years yes. and then also the years after the Patriots. Because yes. Yes. for Rice, those years after the Patriots, I don't know what age Moss was. Mm-hmm. But I think at that point in Rice's career, he was still getting 1,000-yard mm-hmm. years. I think that's what killed Moss. Yeah. Like He didn't have that longevity, I guess, that consistency mm-hmm. with him. Whereas Rice was with the 49ers yeah. like most of his career. And then he mm-hmm. went to the Raiders with Gannon and still had 1,000 yards. Absolutely, seasons. man. But you, 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 you hear these quarterbacks you're naming off. That's all I'm I get saying, it. Man. No, that's what I mean. I, I guess you bro. would have to think about it more. But yeah. I think most people would say Rice. But there are people that yeah. say, you know, I'm just taking Moss. I don't mm-hmm. give a shit. Like, you can make the case in terms of how decorated Rice is. And we see the numbers. We see the highlights and everything like that. And he's talked about it. And he should be in that conversation. But if I'm playing a game tomorrow... And I got all these receivers to pick. This is how I did my all time. Right. I'm <laughs> going to pick Randy Moss. I don't like Jerry Rice, you're cool. I love you. Tip my cap. It's an honor to meet you. But you can't do what Randy Moss can do. I don't care who my quarterback is when Moss is out there in his prime. One game, Dick, you could be the quarterback. <laughs> Throw it as far as you can. <laughs> Throw it as high as you can. Moss gonna do the rest. Rice, you're gonna have to have a little precision. You're going to have to know how he's running these routes, get the timing together, put it where he needs to get it. Moss, I don't got to coach you up. Man, put that thing as far as you can, as high as you can, and he'll go do the rest. It's different. I know, dude. Uh, and, and people, oh, he's I get a one-trick it. Okay. 
you, if you if you are the greatest one trick pony, well, I, I, give me the greatest one trick pony against this other guy who's very well rounded and ex- excellent in everything else, but his height, the, the 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 peak of his play, never to me got to the peak of when we saw like Moss Moss like Prime Moss like that was different, man. And that's why for me I'll go with him, man. I'm not complaining with it. Yeah, it's I, I just think compared to what most people would be thinking, yeah. I'd need to look into it if we want to do all time rankings at some point. I'm down yeah. for that, but for sure um tim brown i'm going ab yeah. steve smith i'm going ab marvin harrison that one's close too it I, is i'll go I ab was, though too it was tough because like harrison is definitely in that conversation like heavily in that conversation he definitely is yeah reggie wayne i'm going ab andre johnson that one's close too you i know, mean people i mean i feel like people were a lot higher on reggie wayne than i was oh I, I thought he was awesome i thought he was too but i feel like people view him as like way better than like I thought he was a Hall of Famer, and I'm with you on that, but I don't know. Like, the way I hear some people talk about him, I'm just like, I, I didn't think of him like that. Like, Oh, oh, so you, you were actually lower on him. Yeah, I oh. was lower on him. I like, thought he was really good, dude. Do you think he was I better think than it, I think it's because of fantasy. He was he was a good gotcha. fantasy player. I was like, do you think he was better than Harrison? No, but he was, but whenever like, Harrison left, like, he was the guy I in know, Indy. but, like, sometimes I hear people talk about him in that vein. I'm just like, I don't even think he was that nice. Like, I thought he was good. I think he should have been a Hall of Famer, but... Yeah, I, I don't. I, I think he's like in that that second tier of the Hall of Fame wide receivers, sure. not in the first tier. We talk about the first tiers, the guys that we're naming, you know, your, your Rice's, your Mosses. That's like the the elite of the elites. Like yeah. I don't think of him in that same tier. Personally. Yeah, he's dude. He's top ten all time. And I guys. know. Yeah, I know. Andre Johnson, I'm going AB. Mm-hmm. Chris Carter, I'll go AB. Bolden, AB. I think honestly, yeah. So hold on, Holt, AB. Yeah, I'm gonna take AB. Um, Who'd you have right here? Andre Reed, I'm gonna stick with AB. Yeah. Brandon Marshall, I'm sticking with AB. Heinz Ward, obviously, I'm sticking with yeah. AB. Mike Wervin, I'm going with AB. I think the only other That's one tough. That was tough for me though, man. The I, only I, other I, one's oh. Calvin Johnson, and you might. I think you're right there. I think I'd take Calvin Johnson over AB for now. Let's see what AB, yeah, how I mean, he can finish name, out right? his career. Yeah. If he can have some great runs, still. I mean, but as long as he stays hooked to Brady, he's gonna be fine. We know this. Like, it's just one of those things. Could he have, like, this second prime for, like, four or five years? But why couldn't he? You got the quarterback. That's the big thing. You, If you can get paired with the quarterback, you can be fine. If <sighs> A.B. was in, or, or excuse me, in Vegas with Carr right now, I don't think we're as optimistic. But knowing that he's with Brady right now, we know what Brady is. He walks on four legs, you know? Yeah. Goes by the name of Goat. We just call him Tom. That's his earth name, but we know him. That's, that's Goat. That's Goat Brady. TB12 the goat. That's what he is. You know? 